Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of this country and citizens of the world, but current resident of the US living here today. My name is Viani Salas. I am Venezuelan. I have been in the US for one year. This country has welcomed me into the community. Today, I'm here to tell you a, a little bit about my experience as an immigrant. Okay, thank you. Immigrant still sound like a strange word to me, but that is who I am. And I will always be in any country that is not my own. There are two choices to consider in this situation. The first, the first option is to understand and accept that you are not in your country anymore. Things are different here, not better or worse, just different. You must adapt yourself. You represent your country with everything you do. This community has welcomed you here. You are a reflection of your country. When my English teacher, Ash Allengin, ima imagines Venezuela, I want her to think about me and the good thing I do, not President Maduro. <laughs> the other way, or second option, is to, is to choose not to change, to continue living as if you are still living in, in place where you were born. In my opinion, this second way is more difficult. That said, I don't mean to say that you have to change everything. We are lucky to live in a multicultural area where we can find almost everything. For example, I can buy my harina pan, special corn, flour for making arepas, a, a typical Venezuelan dish. In short, I mean that you can adapt to a new place without lo losing your ident identity, your culture and values. We have to take into consideration to remember that my right and where the right of the other person begins. In my experience, uh, as part of the Latina community, the greatest, greatest obstacles I have faced face is the language ba barrier. Some people have a gift for language, not me. <laughs> Hear me. <laughs> no matter wha what language you speak, Spanish, Chinese, German, or French, wherever your native language, e language is, heard, they speak, read, and write in English. Lesson Number one, for me, I believe for all immigrant to United States is, if you want to be an integral, integral part of the society, it's, it is your du duty to speak the language. Thanks to people and programs sponsored by cities and the state of Massachusetts, 
we have someone to ask for help. There are professional people who want to see you grow and work in their programs. They not only teach you English, but give you many other skills so, so that you will be able to integrate and join the labor and product market. In my case, specifically, I have followed this process by taking free class at community program. At community program. First, I attend ILI, the International Language Institute, Institute of Massachusetts, in Northampton, here. Now, I, uh, I am attending English, English classes at the Community Education Project that works in collaboration with other adults' basic education programs, like Career Point in the city of Holyoke. And I also belong to Homework House Holyoke as a volunteer tutor to help children with homework or learning problem after school. So I can learn as a girl with them. During this year here in the US, almost no one called me Biani. My name was difficult for American people to learn. I always, la Venezolana, the Venezuelan girl, it, it has been a major process for me to, to adapt myself to life here. Sorry. With all the change, it is change of em environment, of, the we of weather and climate, of food and flavors, of smells, of language, culture, friends, clothing, and even the way people dance Latin music. <laughs> and you ask me, is there racism here? Yes. It is difficult to get legal immigration status? Yes. Very difficult. As their language Barriers? Yes. Is there discrimination in the workplace? Yes. The system is set up to make immigrants fa fall. Economic economically, it is so difficult to sustain yourself during the, the time it takes to get a work permit. For this, we, immigrants, have to plan well and be responsible. The idea is not come here and be a social born or to depend on the government for support. The idea is to improve yourself and the quality of life for you and your people. Are there Obstacles? Yes. Are there solutions? Yes, absolutely. My immigrant and refugee friends, this type of event is organized by people that, that understand and accept that the cultural diversity of this country is a really, and that is, is also uh, a value, a value. In my brief experience here, I have met marvelous people, the majority, that accept my accent, my accent, and my limitation with the language. 
They don't know who I am, who I am, but still they offer me a smile, a smile. Sometimes an immigrant can feel like a dog that is going in circle, trying to bite is their own tail. The immigration system makes you go in circle. And it is easy to lose perspective, to lose sing of your goal. My mission, my personal goal, is to get out of the circle. Sometimes I feel like I can't do it. But then I remember, there are ways to get help. There are steps I can take to move forward. Look for information and support for, from the program in your community. Get involved in the educational, educational system. I believe that this is the best way to overcome obstacles. Thank you. <laughs> That is to say, study and prepare yourself. Thank you for this opportunity to express one, what I am going through and for letting, letting me bring a Latina voice to this event. <laughs>